Alrighty, I have been able to temporarily mount the wings on and I'm going through getting all the little alignments and rigging and final drillings done and I've got the flaps now um, installed and I'm going to go ahead and run the flap motor up and down from zero down to 30 degrees and then back up again. Down 30 degrees, back up to zero. Alrighty, let's uh, take a look at what else I've done here today. It's been a rather long and productive day. Like I said, the wings are only on temporarily. I went ahead and determined that I have more than enough clearance for the exhaust as you can see um, that's not going to be a problem as far as impinging on the fabric uh, let's see here I went ahead and I've got the ailerons on but they're not rigged I'm not going to have enough time today as it's getting ready to start storming oh let's come around here I did put the combing on temporarily it's just taped on I'll mark that and then uh, tomorrow, when I get that marked, I'm going to put some uh, aluminum tabs off of here, angle tabs coming out. The tab will be riveted to here, and then on this side I'll put a nut plate so that entire upper surface combing can be bolted in and not riveted. So if you want to take the wings off or do maintenance, that will come off of there. Then of course I'll have to get the um, windshield situated. That's pretty much it. I did decide to put the aft rudder pedals back in. So I had to move the trim control up onto that bar, that laundry on the top one there, just after the throttle. It does work. It still gives me full deflection on my trim tab more than sufficient for flight I'll have to uh, cut that bottom piece off there and trim it up but other than that she's ready to go and uh, probably would have got done more today but some people stop by they see an airplane parked in someone's backyard of course that means they got to stop and talk and that's when you stop working I'll get a little better look here at the flap build up. Now, these are the uh, brackets that will be attached to the flap spar down to this bracket, which is attached to the motor. And that's what drives the flaps up and down. Right now, I just have a clee coat in place, but I had to locate positions and uh, you just do one thing one step at a time and as you can see it's the same for the other side as well so that's uh, that's it for one day's worth of work and uh, three people helped me to or well two other people my wife and my friend Peter helping me to put the wings on uh, those things are a little more work to put on and take off than you think they are and I don't recommend anybody contemplating taking them off putting them on on a regular basis to store the airplane at home and then go fly on the weekends yep 